America's crime crisis is taking a toll on Portland. The city has seen more than 10,000 assaults over the last year, with 9,700 vandalism cases. And our next guest is demanding answers from her city leaders after someone broke into her restaurant. In a letter she writes to city officials, she says, over the last year and a half, the occurrence of close contact, psychotic outbursts from homeless people, aggressive behavior, abuse, and damage to our property is a daily norm. It threatens myself, my staff, my customers, my business, your citizens, and the mass of unwell people need so much support as well. Our lives are all valuable. The owner of a restaurant called Maurice, Kristen Murray, joins us now. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Good morning. I know you say you are fed up. Why did you want to write that letter to these city officials? Because I love Portland, and I believe in um, Portland being able to come out of this. It's just gotten so... It's just wildly um, imbalanced right now, mm -hmm. and it's not safe, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, many cities, many of us around the country feel the same sentiments that you do. What are you seeing? I know that you're, because of COVID, your customers have to eat outside. Is that correct? Um, it is. We're just too small. We're 580 square feet okay. inside, so we're just not um, equipped right now. So what are you seeing? What, what, what are your customers facing when they're eating outside? Well, I mean, we're only open 11 to 3, trying to be um, open during the optimal hours of foot traffic and light. Um, but they're seeing lots of wandering people that um, are having really um, unfortunate mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, you can see them talking to themselves, circling. Um, sort of gesturing in the air. Um, sometimes, like we had the incident that prompted the letter finally, where they charged at customers and I had to usher them into the tiny restaurant and actually buy their meals, which I can't afford to do. Right, right. So did you hear um, back from then, city, city officials? You know, I did hear back from quite a few of them. We do um, have a meeting this morning, myself and a lot of other fellow um, small independent business owners with mm -hmm. Sam Adams and um, we're hopeful I mean it's the city's at a breaking point and it has been um, but things have really crescendoed over the last couple of months weeks um, and I don't want to close up shop mm -hmm. I know lots of friends where we all don't want to give up on Portland um, but the city has to has to make dramatic what, changes. What's going on? What are they, why are these problems happening? I don't know if it's the current leadership. Um, I know that COVID definitely exacerbated um, the support like clean and safe that would come and support the police. Um, they help with a lot of talking down of people that are looking to vandalize or upset customers or steal things. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't use force. Um, they deal in a lot of de-escalation conversations. We have been offered um, counseling for myself and staff to help because the police have been very transparent that given their current reality, street oh. patrol is not a reality anytime soon. Oh, Kristen, um, I am so there's sorry a new, for you. We're, yeah, we're, there's we're a new seeing restaurants close down in New York for the same reasons and rioting and uh, vandalism here too and homeless problem. Well, we have to leave right. it there, but um, Kristen, thank you. I wish you all the best. I hope the city leaders do listen to you and do something about thank it. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you for your time. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.